You ever wondered what the best sauce tomato, best canning tomato, best eating tomato, just best tomato all around in all categories is? Well, I'm going to tell you today. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to fluff up this seed starting tray, which is the Fairy Morse pre-filled seed starter. I'm running some tests on this by, the, uh, by October or even probably May. I'll have a better idea of exactly how I feel about this. But anyway, so today we are going to be planting the Roma VF. And I know. Everybody knows about Romas. But I just don't think everybody really appreciates how great Romas really are. So the first thing we're going to do in our seed starter tray is punch a little hole about half inch deep. So what's really great about these Romas is they produce two ounce fruits that are got plenty of juice, plenty of meat to them, and there's not a lot of seeds to them. And their cell wall on the outside, the skin, is actually kind of thin. So you don't end up with a whole bunch of just nasty skin in it. So when you're canning, if you can regularly, you know that's a pretty awesome benefit. All right, so you're going to want to start these indoors six to eight weeks as normal tomatoes before your final frost. They will emerge in seven to ten days in well lit soils with or well lit areas with in soil that's 70 to 75 degrees. They will rise in about seven to ten days. I think is really cool about these tomatoes specifically being a determinant variety. A lot of their fruits will all meet at the same time. But the other great thing is that if you plant them in full sun. In 76 days, you'll start to harvest. So you'll get about a month of harvest out of them where it's real heavy harvesting. And then they'll start dying off, you know, because that's just what determinants do. But what's great is with only a 76-day harvest, that's less than three months. So you could actually start multiple rounds of these tomatoes and have new plants when one dies. So I think that's a pretty favorable thing for them. And in our cups, we're using the Fox Farms Happy Frog potting mix. Uh, I've been using that pretty heavily. I watched uh, Pepper Geek do a video. He had really great information on that. So I can put a link in the description. So if you want to check it out, you can go look at it. But he did a lot of uh, different common soils. That everybody had was or you know that's readily available to people which they actually just now made they just now started getting this soil at my local roll king so that's pretty cool and it's not these little dink bags because i mean the bag's so big i decided to just use these cups instead of trying to drag it up here but it seems to me so far in my testing phase, which I'm getting ready to start another set of testing, that this might be the best seed starting mix I've ever got. It might be the best potting soil I've ever got. So I want to get some numbers before I say for sure that that's what's going on here. But so far, that's what it's looking like. And we're just going to take these handy dandies and just use our toothpick to cover them up. These ones are only actually a quarter inch. I'm pretty sure I said a half inch earlier and I apologize for that, but I'm human. Get them bad boys covered. Then we're going to take our handy dandy saran wrap and get it open again. Oh yeah. Throw that over the top, like so. And one more time for the people in the back. Now, 
I was over the top water in these, but I noticed that my seeds spread out when I do that. And so I have some cabbage that are actually way over here instead of in the center like I wanted them. So I've actually been doing the, just walk, putting water in these trays and letting it soak up the water on the inside. And it seems to be keeping them more centered, which is exactly what I need for using these cups. But, you know, to each their own. So if you like the content, go ahead and hit subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.